this is a case study that I started talking about last week. And it was for a show called Weeds. Oh, I guess it was in the 2000s, like 2010, no, 2007. I don't remember. But it, anyways, it was an old show. And um, this is their logo or their, show, their title design here. And it's, it was um, meant to be, I don't know if it came back, but it was coming back in 2019. And this was uh, basically how I start my design process is I lay thing, I lay, start laying out the type in Illustrator um, just to see you know, which ones will work and kind of go from there. So as I mentioned before, this one didn't quite work because it was a little too intricate. Um, so I went with something a little cleaner and, um, and this is, so this is the first pass out of that um, exploration. So the first pass, I picked two fonts that I thought would be good for the show. And I put um, um, hair on this, Cinema 40 hair to resemble grass. Um, so this is, again, just like a really, really quick and dirty pass. This is not final by any means. And then this is the second font that I chose. So there were two fonts that, you know, were presented um, to see which one would work better for the show. Uh, we went with, so this is the second pass. And again, uh, a little disclaimer, this is going to be really, really rough because uh, this is done really quick. Um, just to kind of lay out the animation. So start thinking about how the animation will go, adding details, or like adding actual weeds in, um, you know, having some dandelions, having clover. Um, I'm actually a big fan of wheat, like weeds, just like the weeds, weeds, like the, <laughs> the dandelions and all of that, because, um, you know, it's, it's, you can use it in a salad and like being a forager, it's, it's kind of cool to know all of this um, stuff is actually, you know, it's, it's good, good eating. <laughs> don't, don't, I mean, there's a lot to it. So don't just go out there and like start picking up weeds. But um, anyways, totally diverted there. Uh, getting back on track. So again, just multiple camera angles, you know, just this obviously needs a lot of work still, but it's more important at this stage uh, to get the concept down um, to kind of figure out your camera angles, figure out, you know, how everything's going to flow, um, what, how things are going to be set up. So again, this is not, there's no compositing done on these frames. These frames are straight out of Cinema 4D using standard render, uh, not Redshift or anything else. It's just standard render, um, just some lights thrown in, just so I can have a map of what the animation would look like. Um, so I'd like to, usually when I do start working out some sort of a title animation, if there's no footage, in this case, there's no footage available to use. Um, so most of the stuff will rely on the show type doing all the work. Uh, so this was like one approach to having a creative um, spot, just using the title itself. So that would be, or this could also be like a, uh, like a bumper or something like that for, you know, in between the um, other shows in the network. 